Yeah, all right. So good evening. Uh, this is um, this guy is at the um, academy, and my name is um, Tokwe Shirende. So, all right. So last week, uh, we looked at Appium. Uh, we looked at uh, Appium from the command line. The only reason why I'm just going to this command line is so that we can have. Uh, it, it's a different flavor to the desktop application, and it's also good for us to ha to use it. And there's one important thing about um, the command line. Uh, is the use of the Appium Doctor. So um, Appium Doctor, what Appium Doctor do, does is to check that we have the requirements and the uh, or the dependencies required um, for Appium um, um, to use to uh, start of the automation session that we need to um, comment on the on the on the device. And um, the first thing that you need to do is to install Appium Doctor and the Command to install is um, uh, you, you install it using NP, npm npm um, note, you install the appm doctor from node package manager npm install appm iphone doctor and then space minus g. So that will that will start extracting the Appium Doctor files for us here. As you can see on my screen. All right, so it's finished installing, and then what I can do is to check on the um, dependencies that I require. So I can type Appium space doctor uh, minus h, I think. All right, so basically what we are doing here is we are looking, we are saying appm doctor and we are looking at all the options available. We've asked, so that's the, um, we are looking at all the options available for us to be able to like, basically like triage any issues or check the dependencies or to see if we are missing anything at all. All right, so the next thing, because we are, we are on this aspect of the training, we are looking at Android. So all I need to type is, um, uh, I'll still type Appium uh, iPhone Doctor and then double space Android. All right, so before I do that, I can, I can look at the first option, which is to check on the version. So it tells me that I have um, I, I, um, Appium version 1.15.0. And then the next thing I can do is to check. So basically, I want to check the Android setup. I want to check if I have everything I need for my Android setup. Yeah? That is the only thing I'm interested in with. So the same thing I do, I, I type the version, I type the command Appium iPhone Doctor, and then Android. And it's currently still the so it's basically telling me I have the Appium Doctor version which is 1.150. Now it's it's it is telling me that my Android home version is not set. Android home is not set. It is saying that my Java home is not set. So basically these are the dependencies or the requirements I need for my Appium to work effectively. Whether you're irrespective of whether you're using it from the command line or you're using it from um, the desktop application. All right. So uh, I'll just. All right. So basically, we have. So it's saying that um, ADB could not be found because Android Home is not set. Uh, Android. So the next thing it says is that. Android could not be found because Android Home is not set. The same thing, Android Emulator could not be found because Android Home is not set. Beam Directory for Java Home is not set. And, and all that. All right, so. Uh, all right, so the next thing that we are going to now do is we are now going to start meeting all these requirements one after the other. So, 
we're going to start looking at them one after the other now so and before we do that quickly we need to I need to show you how to uninstall Appium from the from the command line version of Appium. So to, to do that, bear with me one second. I just need to terminate this job. I just need so so the next thing I need to do now to uninstall so I, you could if you remember la last week I said that we can install Appium with this command. Uh npm install minus g appium so basically for us to just uninstall appium if you don't want to use the command line appium tool all you need to do is to call on npm again and say install appium globally so the minus as in you don't want it on this laptop anymore and then you click enter and you can see that there's a rollback action being, being carried out. There's a rollback action being carried out, as you can see from my screen. Let me make this so you can see there's a rollback action being carried out. Blah, 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 and all that. So it will take a while. So while, while that is happening, uh, I'll just go back to my slide and we'll move on to the next item on the slide. So we set up our Java home. We've used the Java, we've, we've checked that we have Java on our machine. So now um, you can do that again from the command line. If you type command prompt, open, and you click and you click on so we have and you type java space version so it tells me that I have version 1.8 here which is good that is what I want to see and then now the next bit is for us to start setting up the Android um, and to, to um, download the Android and start setting up the Android um, SDK environment and to be able to use um, the platform tools and, and, and everything that we need. Now, so the next thing that you do now to download the, so basically now we're going to do the Android SDK tool, yeah? And the first thing that you need to do is to go to these websites. So I'll click on this website. So it basically is the same thing as just going to your, uh, to Google, so you, if you go to, uh, with me one second. Uh, so if I just basically, so all you need to do is come to Google. Sorry, just say download. Uh, download Android SDK. Yeah, and then you go to the Android SDK website, and then we are interested in downloading the command. Sorry, we're interested in downloading the command line tool. So it is. So this is the command line tool that we we are basically interested in downloading. So one second, please. Let's bring this out. Minimize this. That's fine. So we're interested in downloading the command line, this command line too. So basically, you go to the Android Home, whatever, then page, and then you click on. So depending on the kind of operating system you're using, this is a Windows. We are, we are interested in the Windows um, um, tool package. So this is. So if you look at this here, it says basically. If you, don't, if you do not need Android Studio, you can download the basic Android command line tool below. This will then, uh, this includes the SDK manager to download the SDK packages. So we don't need to download the entire um, Android Studio um, uh, application on our machine. Yeah. So you click on this one, you accept the terms. 
and then you click on download I've already done that I've already done the download I have the download sitting somewhere on my machine here so I don't need to redo that uh, right so well, okay, let me just do that again then because there's no go, going back here so once you click that if you go to your I'll just kind of if you go to your um, downloads, you see that you see this is the zip folder that was downloaded earlier. I will just download. Now, as normal, you will then extract it. You click on right click on right click on it, extract it, and then extract it to the location of your choice on your machine. Okay. So I've already done this and. Um, I have it stored somewhere. So after extracting it, so basically this is what I've just done. For people that don't know um, how to extract, extract files. I just click here. So this is it. It's, it is extracted here. And then all I need to do is just to rename it. Rename it to anything that you want to rename it to. So I'm going to rename it as Android uh, Tools. Yeah, that's it. And then copy, copy to any location. So I, I have, I have something like I have already copied it and stored it in my C drive. So if I open it here, I have everything I need here. So, yeah, so uh, the most. Oh. All right. So we have, um, we have the. We have the um, we have the so we have we've already extracted we named our file we renamed our file as um, Android SDK we've opened our file and then in, within our file we have these these um, these um, folders so it might be that when you um, when you install yours you might you might not have to be honest you might not have these build tools and all that you might just have these tools only. That's not that's not a cause for concern. All we are interested is in particularly is this tools folder which I've um, highlighted here. And within that tools folder, you should have your bin. And within that your bin, you should have your all these bat files. You should have the SDK manager. You, ha you should have the um, AV A AVD manager dot bat and all that. So if we go back to my slide. Uh, So exactly. So this is basically what what you should be having here. When you oh, sorry, this is basically what you should be having. The first slide to your um to your left. When you click on the Android what and Android folder, you see your tools. You should have the bin, the library, the pro guard, support, and all the files. And then when you go into your bin folder, if you double click on that bin folder, you should have all this view as well. Now, so the next thing for us to do is um, the next thing for us to do. We need to go back to the command line, and we need to check whether, to be honest, this this wouldn't work. But it's just a good practice to check first before going to the next um, um, uh, up to the next bit of the um, environment setup. So what you need to check for when you what you need to type in the command prompt is ADB. So ADB means Android Debug Bridge. And Android Debug Bridge is what you it it is the it is like a tool that you use to connect your device to your um your your laptop to your mobile device. So we need to check whether ADB device is um is uh is uh, is already set up on this machine. So you type AD devices, and what we have here is that ADB Android Debug Bridge is not recognized as an internal or external command. Yeah. So the next thing that we then need to do is to how to see how we can then resolve this problem. So we so the and the and the thing for us to do then is to go back to our Android uh, Android um, 
uh, Android, Android um, platform, Android tools that we've um, just um, installed or downloaded. And then we then go to the SDK manager. You can remember that I said when I was on this uh, website, it says that you can use the SDK manager to download other SDK packages. So basically, if you just click on that, uh, so I just I, I just clicked on the SDK manager. So I want to use the SDK manager to download a package which I need. So and the package that I do need for this um, ADB debug um, um, uh, bridge ADB to work is called platform tools. So here we say um, SDK manager is a command line tool that allows you to view install, update, and uninstall packages for the Android SDK. Yeah? Now, SDK Manager is provided in the Android SDK tools and is found in the Android underscore. So this is, uh, it is found in the location. So if you go back to your uh, Android SDK, uh, if you go back to the Android SDK that you just um, is, um, downloading that now, if you go into the tools, and then if you go into your bin, you find your SDK manager. This is the SDK manager. I hope, yeah, that's the SDK manager. So we are going to be using this SDK manager to download the ADB, um, Android Debug Bridge, which, is new, which, is, which we need to connect our mobile device to our laptop. So and another thing that we need to check for hmm. quickly, so I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop, I'm going to just briefly, uh, do, I'm just going to briefly um, pause the um, installation of Android platforms and so that, because I need, there's something I need to show you from my, um, I, need to, I need to connect my mobile device so that you can see what I need to do. So we're going to stop Android um, installation, Android SDK installation for now. And then we'll pick it up um, after installing Visor. So we're going to move to the next one, Visor. Yeah. All right. So we, um, we shall be going. We shall be installing Visor and connecting our mobile device to our computer through the USB cable. So the requirement is that you need a USB cable. And um, this, I would, I would emphasize again and repeat that this is a Windows. Uh, Appium Windows training. This is not iOS, so if you're thinking of connecting via iOS, um, unfortunately, this will, this is not covered at this point. So we're using the USB cable. You need a USB cable. You need a mobile device, uh, preferably Android. And um, uh, I did mention to you that uh, uh, ADB means ADB uh, command uh, that we run, uh, we run the ADB command on the command line and ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. Now, so the first thing that we need to do is to um, uh, is to go to uh, is to go to Chrome and then uh, you need to click on you need to down look search for uh, Spell me, please. All right, so we need to we need to search for Visor. So Visor for Chrome. And then, uh, and then, so basically, it's, it is an extension. So all you need to do, I, I have this already installed on my on my device. So what you need to do is just basically, uh, you would, if 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 this wasn't in, in, installed, you would have this blue patch here, which I'm highlighting. This blue patch as add extension. So all you basically need to do is to add the extension to your um, to your Chrome, and once you add the extension to your Chrome, then it comes it comes up with this page, which is the um, so it tells on this page 
it will tell you your device version, it will tell you the, um, um, the your device serial number, and then it will, so depending on what version of um, Visor you are using, then you can, so it is giving me some error warnings here that I, um, ad adverts will be shown every 15 minutes while viewing an Android, blah, blah, blah. You can purchase the, um, um, the premium version and all that. So I don't need the premium version, so I'm not, I don't need to yeah, do that. So, um, now, so basically, so, th so the next thing that we need to, um, the next thing that we need to do is, um, on your, I'm going to pick up my device now. So you just need to plug in your, uh, uh, your device to, you need to plug in your device to the, um, to your, your USB cable to your laptop. And then there are some things that you need to check out on your device. So you would remember that, um, um, last, um, last week I did talk about, uh, here, I did talk about, uh, the, uh, um, desired desired capabilities. Uh, one of the things which I talked about in the desired capability is the uh, platform version, and also so you, uh, you, we need to check on our device how to install how to check. You need to check on our device what the platform version of the Android phone we have. So for some of us, it's it's different because we we all use different types of Android devices. Well, so the best way to do it is I'm going to be showing you now on how to check the um, how to check this on your mobile phone. So, so um, you need to make your device ready. Your device has to be turned on, and I'm going to show you my device now. So my device is ready. So all you need to go is you need to go to your um, settings. And then you need to go to your software uh, information. Uh, so, one second, please. I need, to, I, need to check, I need to do something. One second, please. Uh, all right. There are so many things I need to show you before in, in bits. So, I'm just going to do, just hold on, please. Okay. So, everything, yeah. So, um, basically, <clears throat> All right. So as I was saying earlier, uh, so you need to click on. You need to go to your settings. All right. So we have. So so basically, one of the things that you need to do is to ensure that you need to check. You, you need to ensure that your um, developer options, which you can see here, is on. Not only is your developer option on, because without your developer option being on, you cannot see the screen. Of your device on on your on your um, on your on your laptop. So the first thing that you need to do first is to you go to your settings. Uh, you go to about phone to turn on your developer um, 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 options on. Uh, so you go to settings. You go to about phone. You click on your um, system information and then this build number you need to click on this build number <laughs> so it already says that um, it's already been um, um, it's already been enabled but basically you need to click on this you need to look for where you have build number tap on it seven times when you tap on it seven times it will then say uh, developer mode enabled and once when you have your developer once once you have that um, once you have that, uh, and you come out of of that of that, um, and you come out of it, and you go back to where you have your about phone, uh, your develop this developer developer options will become visible. And then when once you click that developer option, you need to scroll down to click on uh, a USB. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. So. So you need to. So once you once you click once you click on um, uh, once you go to your um, your about phone your software information and then you you see the build number. It's important that you see the build number. You tap on that build number seven times. Once you tap on that se on that seven times, it then enables um, developer options. 
and then you can then go to developer option and then look for USB debugging and then ensure that it is turned on. So I'm just going to show you that briefly now. Just one second. So uh, this is developer option. I'm just looking for USB debugging. Uh, yeah, so you at one point here you will find USB debugging and you need to ensure that that is on because if, if that is if you can if you don't get that on you will be able to see the screen on your phone. So I can't I can't see USB debugging here anyway. But but if you scroll to the top. Yeah, okay, so this is a USB debugging. This must be set to on. Because without this, you won't be able to see the screen. You won't be able to see your mobile device on the screen. And then you need to have this on as well. You need to have the developer options on as well. So that's basically how to how to see the your screen on, on your phone. So the next other the one other thing that we need to also um check is we need to check we need to check the um, Android version on your device. So to check the Android um, version on your device, uh, I'll show you that now. One second. So you need to come out and go to. You need to go to settings again. Uh, you need to go to software uh, about your phone. Uh, software information and then here so my Android version is 9 so these are the things that you need to you need to take notice of because you'll be using you'll be needing this Android version uh, when you're writing your desired capabilities so my Android version is 9 so those are the two things I, I need to do here once ensure that my USB debugging is on um, and there are three things basically one ensure that your developer option is on two Ensure that USB debugging is on, and three, you get your Android version. All right. So once I've done that, the next thing for me to now do is um, I will now go back to installing my Android platform tools. So once you have uh, once you have your Android version, you can to now get. Uh, there's one other thing that you also need now to um, get is the API level. So basically, you shall you, you're going to be using your API and uh, your Android version to get your API level, and the link is um, and for you to do that, it, all you need to do is go back to Google and type Android uh, version history. <coughs> So if you go to the Wikipedia Android version history, uh, the Wikipedia page. You will see a list of all the um, version numbers, their release dates, and the API level. So what we need, the reason why we need the API level is because for us to be able to, um, so so basically, we need the API level to download platform Android platform tools. And without downloading the Android platform tools, we won't our Android. Um, SDK will not be able to link up with our mobile device. So basically, the Android SDK links up with the mobile device using the API level, from and you get the API and using the using the, sorry using the platform tools API level. So for you to for each and every one of us here, for my own version, I'm my own, as I as, as I've just shown you, my um, Android version is version nine. And my API level is version um, 28. API level is version 28. I think for very recent phones, some of you might have version um, Android level 10, and your Android level will be 29 or what. But the thing is that if you if you download any if you download the version API level of version 29, if you have an old phone, if your API if your Android version is version 4 or whatever, you, should, you can still use the API level of version 28. 
So the only the only other thing is that if you have if an Android level of ten and you download an API level of nine, then that wouldn't work. But vice versa, if you have a higher API level and you have a lower version number, then it, that would work. So in this scenario, I'm going to be using API level 28 because I have Android version 9. And the thing I need to do is, um, if I go back to my slide here, uh, we need to go to the location of the SDK manager. Remember that I said the SDK manager is going to be used to download the platform level and the Android platform tools. And inside our Android platform tools, we 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 have the API level. So the next thing for me to do is now download the Android platform tools. So if we, if I go back to my Android SDK, now in my tools in here. I don't have any Android platform tools. So basically, um, I need the SDK manager, which is inside my uh, bin, to bin folder. So if I go back, I go back to my tools. I go back to my, uh, let me go back to, I go back to my Android folder. And inside my Android folder, I have my tools. And inside my tools, I have my bin. And inside my bin, I have my SDK manager. So here, what I need to do is basically I need to just highlight that and then click on the address bar. I hope you can see my address bar. Yeah, and then type CMD and then click enter. And then it will take me to the command line for that for that um, particular folder. So let me do that again for you. I come to my um, I come to my SDK which I've extracted and renamed. I open this up and I go to my tools. And inside my tools, I have my bin folder. And inside my bin folder, I have the SDK manager dot bat. I just highlight the SDK manager dot bat. Click on the address bar. I don't copy this. I and I type CMD command line command prompt and click enter. Then it takes me, it opens up a command line for that particular location. Now, if you go to this, if I, if you go back to, uh, uh, if you go back, let's go back to this link. Uh, so let's go back to, uh, if you go back to uh, Android, download Android SDK um, link. And then, and then we go to the, and we go, and we go to the SDK manager. Now, if you read this page here, so for me, for so I need the SDK manager to download the platform tools. So inside the platform tools, I have the ADB. You remember that when I went to my command prompt earlier and I was typing ADB devices, it was saying that it doesn't recognize ADB devices as an internal or external command. So I want my computer to be able to recognize the ADB device as a, as a command. And what I need to then do is to download platform tools. And because inside my plat inside these platform tools, I have the ADB, ADB, which I'm interested in. So what I need them to do is to use the SDK manager and say platform and say I say SDK manager get me platform tools and which platform tools am I downloading for Android API level 28? So I, I'll, I'll basically copy all this command and then go to the I'll copy that command and then. For the third time, I'll repeat this so that you don't get confused. I go back to my um, location where the Android SDK is, which I downloaded and unzipped. I go to my tools. I go to my bin. I click on the SDK manager dot bat. I come to the uh, um, search bar or the address bar. I, I type command. It takes me to. It opens up uh, a command prompt for that. SDK bus location, and then I and I paste the copied 
command from the URL, from the Android URL. So if you are downloading 29, you can type 29 here. 29 here. Well, on this occasion, I'm downloading 28 here. So once you do that, you click enter, and then it starts fetching the repository from um, from the cloud for you. So you can see that I started downloading the tools, platform tools. You can see here it's downloading 30% platform tools because I need platform tools to get my ADB device working. So that's going to take a while. So. All right, so that's fine. So it's finished downloading. So if I go back to my um, my uh, the location where I have installed, my, I've um, saved my Android SDK, and I go and I open up the um, installed the platform tools. If I double click on it, I have my API level. Uh, one second, it should show me Android version something something. All right, so I have my ADB. So to be honest, this is what I'm interested in. I have my ADB.exe there. Now, so now if I now go back and if I just close this and then open up a new command prompt. Uh, If I open up a new command prompt and I type ADB devices to check if this, so it's still saying that ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command. So the first thing I need to do is, the first thing I need to do, you remember that, uh, you remember that when we looked at the Appium Doctor, Appium Doctor was saying that we don't have, uh, um, Android home sets. So for for that, for so one of the things that we need now to do is to uh, set up our environment variables for the Android home. And to do that, what you need to do is um, you need to uh, open up your environment variables. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go back to the, the location of your you need to go back to the location of your Android SDK folder, open up the folder, and then on the address bar, you copy this. You copy the address. So where you have your tools, your platform tools and everything, you, co you go to the address bar. Uh, can you see that? One second. Um, All right, so let me. All right, so you can see this here. So, uh, all right, so you copy, you copy, you copy this address bar, Android SDK in the address bar. You copy that, copy, and then you go, you open up your environment variable. So to type your envi environment variable, all you need to do is to come here. You can type ENV, environment, and then you click open. Then it opens up this dialog box, yeah? Another way to do it is to go to your um, PC, uh, to click on this PC here, right click, properties, advanced system, and then it opens up this dialog box, yeah? So, for the, so, we are going to click on the environment variables. We click on, we click on this environment variable, and then in, under your system variables, you click new, and then you name it Android, capital letter Android underscore home. And then the, you paste the location of your Android folder. Yeah. So so you now have that set up. 
So the next thing that you need to do now is you go into your tools, you double click your tools, and then again you copy the address of your tool. So basically you just highlight your tools, double click on it, it takes you into the tools folder, go to the address bar, copy that, go to your environment variables, and then under your path variable, under your path variable, you click new, and then put, and then paste the location of your tools, and click OK. The next thing is, you double click your, you go inside, inside your tools, you double click the bin, go to your address bar, copy the location of your tools slash bin, tools slash bin, go to your environment variable again, under your path variables, path variables, so you go to your system variables, this is your system variables, uh, I can't highlight it, but I don't know whether you're seeing this, and then you go to your path variable, double click your path variable, click new, add the path to your tool bins folder, tools bin, Android tools bin folder. The next thing that you do as well, you go back to your Android SDK folder and then double, highlight your platform tools, double click on it and then copy the location of your platform tools. Copy the location of your platform tools and put it under your path variables, on, under your path of the system variables, new and then path. I may click OK and OK. Now, if I were to revisit this ADB, um, if I were to go back and then retype this ADB devices, it's still saying, mm. okay, all right, so you need to open up a fresh command prompt, and then type ADB devices. So you can see that it is saying that I have um, ADB server version blah 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 um, daemon started successfully and it says the list of devices attached so I have my phone attached and this is the UDID so if I take out my phone and then if I run the command again so now it says list of devices attached nothing showing under but once I plug my phone back to it, forget about Viso for now, and I click and I type ADB devices, so you can see this is the list of devices attached. So basically, this number that I have highlighted is your is what you call the UDID. So another thing to go back to. Um, Last week, under the desired capabilities, I talked about the UDID. So three things that we've been able to um, um, identify tonight is one, for the, under the desired capability, one is the platform version, which you check from your settings on your phone. Two is the UDID which you get when you check in your phone, when you connect your phone to your PC or your, or your, or your, um, or your laptop, and then you go to command prompt and then find the list of devices, and then type ADB devices, which is the list of devices attached. So basically, um, that is how to connect. So once you do that and you have your, once you do that, and then you have um, Bell Mail Second. Da, 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 da. So once you do that, and you have your device connected, then you should. Um, then you should. Once you have that, and you have your device connected, then you should have your mobile phone be displayed on your on your screen.
uh, if you click on view, uh, so sometimes Viso Viso needs. I don't know what you seeing there. So basically, Viso installs um, Viso installs an, an APK on your on your device. So you should be able to see the screen your device. So um, the last thing we're going to do quickly before we round up tonight is uh, I talked about uh, APK info. So when we talk, when I talked about APK info um, as one of the requirements uh, of Prodexa that we need to have. So basically, all you need to do for that APK info is. Um, Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. So I need to reconnect my Android to the computer. Yeah, one second. Uh oh, dear. All right, so th so this is your APK info, basically. So what what the APK info does is that um, it lists um, APK info will list up um, um, will, 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 get, will list out all the um, applications you have installed in your mobile device, everything entirely, and also even the pre-installed ones and basically every application on your device. Now, so if I um, if I type for instance, I think I have Git tweaks um, installed on my application. So if I start type that uh, Git tweaks and I click enter, oh whatever. So it's not. Yeah, I have Git tweaks. Git Git Yeah, so I have Git tweaks installed. Now, if I go into, if I double click this gift rate, if I double click it, it tells me about the application, gives me the, you know, gives me information about the version, the target date, blah, 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 you know, and then it lists out some other information for me. So it basically tells me the app, um, it gives me the details of the app. So if I go to other properties, uh, if I so if I click on this, it tells me this is the um, install packages. So basically, you can just play around with to see what what these stuffs are. Um, and you can also copy, I think you can copy, copy it, you know, to clipboard and all that. So, so you basically list out the app details for you. So, so, tell me one second. All right, so if you go to, if you if you if you go to the app activities, yeah. So we need this. Uh, um, this is also something. So basically, what you need, what we have, what we need that is important here is we need to be able to have the app um, as part of our desired um, cap um, desired capabilities. We need to be able to have the app activity. So I think um, um, on this one, uh, the the app one second. The app package is um, uh, yeah. So the app package is com dot google dot android dot this. So this is the app package. So if you uh, so that's the app package. And then if you go into activities, um, you will find the app activity. So this one has so many app activities here. Yeah. So I think this is the uh, you can select this one giftrate.com slash blah 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 is the app activity. So these two are very important. You need the app package and the app activity to, to put on your desired capabilities. So if I go back to that my slide and I go back to um, my 
desired capabilities you will see that the app package is for here is ex for uh, an example I'm using is com.android.vending and the app activity is com.google.blah blah blah dot you know dot android finsky activities main activity so the same thing we have here all right sorry guys so the same thing I have to search uh, so if I type gift tweet again Okay, so um, so when you type, so this is so basically this is the um, so this is the app package com dot google dot android dot package installer, and then when you go to the activities, you would have the main activity. So the, I think this is the main activity, the gitreads dot com splash main activity uh, so this is it, this has got so many so many all right so no no this is not um, so we are looking for the main activity well we come um, uh, All right, so the, the main activity would be, I'll show you another application now. It's normally um, on top at, as, as the first. So this is, so yeah, I think this is the main activity to be honest, splash screen activity. But I'll show you another application. I think I have another application that we can, and we can look at. So if I type, um, I think, do I have eBay? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I, let me see if this talk to be will give us anything. So we have the this is all right. So this is the package activity, and then if I go into the activities, uh, so so this is so this is the main activity. Let dot Android talk to be dot main activity. So basically. Those are the two things that we need. We need the package activity, app, app package, and the app activity. To be honest, those are the two things that we need for the um, environment variable. So um, uh, this is yeah. So.